So today I'm going to be talking about miscarriage. I'm not going to talk about everything concerning miscarriage because uh, it's a very vo uh, voluminous topic. I'm going to be treating it uh, step by step, general overview. I, maybe I, can, I will touch, I will tell you some of the causes and some symptoms the things that you will see and you know you you are having a miscarriage and again you know give you some instances about uh what happens and because in in rare some rare cases miscarriage may be due to uh an atopic pregnancy so i'm gonna be giving you some capital signs and symptoms you will see and you know that your miscarriage is as a result of atopic pregnancy and will tell you what to do urgently so stay tuned <laughs> Miscarriage is a loss of pregnancy after, no, before 23 weeks. It can also happen after 23 weeks. Okay, that's the second trimester uh, kind of miscarriage. Okay, but it basically happens in the first trimester. So, but when it happens in the first trimester, it could be as a result of problem with the fetus maybe there are some chromosomal problems maybe the the fetus is up is abnormal you understand and again if is uh it's also occurs because of some other lifestyle uh, issues like uh, maybe the mother was an alcoholic a drug addict, uh, a smoker, you know, all, all those habits can cause miscarriage. But major reason is because of some chromosomal abnormalities. Intrauterine growth retardation. The, the fetus has some issues and the fetus was not growing as it's supposed to grow. Miscarriage was setting. Okay, basically the signs of miscarriage are vaginal bleeding, cramps. When you start having cramps with that, with the vaginal bleeding, you know, it should tell you that there is a problem. Then I want you to understand that it's not all vaginal bleeding that is that tells you that miscarriage has mm -hmm. set in. Because there is something we call um, implantation bleeding. It normally occurs during the first trimester. It, so in some women, it occurs. Not every woman. Some women, there is nothing uh, of such. So, But if you notice vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, first of all, you inform your GP, you go to the hospital first and find out what the vaginal bleeding is all about, whether it is the normal implantation bleeding or the one caused by miscarriage. Or possibly they will check you physically, check check if the, the fetal heart is there and then send you for scan to know if the the they can uh, the baby is growing well so if the baby if it is actually a miscarriage you start experiencing other signs like like uh, cramping uh, lower abdominal pain and all that and the bleeding continues so basically when this bleeding continues in in some complete miscarriage it can your the tissue i mean the baby the fetus can expel completely 
but if it is incomplete it will it will not expel completely it will be incomplete so that is why seeing the doctor or your midwife is very very necessary so that if it becomes incomplete in this case you will do an evacuation in order to remove the remaining part of it because if you don't remove it if it is not completely removed you continue bleeding and you could have issues you could even die in the process and again infection you could have infection so so it's better you you go to the hospital they check to find out if the thing has been completely expelled or if it is incompletely expelled basically when they see you when they check and if you are still bleeding they will give you some medications to stop the bleeding especially if everything has been completely expelled if it hasn't if there are still some tissue retained they will it will be removed through um uh, evacuation so again um in remember i said in my introduction that i was going to tell you some signs that it will tell you that there is a problem that you need urgent help like seriously this one is has gone beyond anything this is when if you start having this cramping so if this cramping is persistent you should know that it is is, is not a good sign persistent uh, va uh, um, abdominal cramping vaginal bleeding pain continues and is usually one-sided and then if this also there is pain at the tip of your shoulder you should know that is a sign of atopic pregnancy because on rare conditions atopic pregnancy can cause miscarriage what do i mean by atopic pregnancy atopic pregnancy is the uh that it means that the fetus was growing outside the womb outside the uterus so and it is a very urgent uh is a condition that requires urgent attention so when you see these signs persistent pain cramping which is one-sided and also pain on the shoulder or the tip of the shoulder also if you are feeling like you want to faint you know diarrhea you are going to toilet and coming out often and on you are vomiting those signs you feel like you want to faint those signs are the signs that shows you have a to be pregnancy and immediately you notice this call the emergency department as soon as possible and get to the hospital so that you'll be attended to because a to be pregnancy is a major is part of the cause of deaths in women of reproductive age so miscarriage can come also during the second trimester basically because of the problem with the mother or if there are some infections that the uh, uh, fetus already contracted from the mother but it's basically because of a problem from the mother that's why it happens in the second trimester problems like um chronic conditions like diabetes mellitus um high high blood pressure hiv measles so many things and also if there are if there is placental problem, maybe the, the placenta is not supplying the fetus enough, there could be a miscarriage. Also, if the mother um, 
have a problem, we have something like have staphylococcus, it can happen. Also, if there is food poisoning, like uh, you eat contaminated food, uh, it could lead to miscarriage in second trimester. Like I said before, I said I'm not going to be saying everything that about miscarriage because it's very very voluminous we have so many things to talk about in miscarriage the um, uh, so many things how to prevent it what um uh, mm, diagnosis so many things in it complications and all that so, so there are so many things to talk about in miscarriage but this is all i have for you today so if you have any questions or you want me to treat more on this do first of all give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and also give your view on the comments in the comment section so that whenever i upload a new video it will be treated. Have a nice day, my people. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>